we're at Sun and Fun, and we came by American Legend because we were attracted by this handsome paint job. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Darren Hart, and we're going to have a look at the new model that you just come out with, right? No, yeah, it's called the Super Legend, and then we add the HP on the end of it. <laughs> Super wasn't good enough. You had yeah. to have a little more. So, of yeah, we had so to keep we got building here? it up. So this is the Super Legend HP, and the reason we have the HP is, of course, high performance. And we uh, we decided to put the Titan. 180 horse engine on it. It's the 0340 engine on it. Okay, now before when it was nearly super legend, what engine did you have? What horsepower did that put out? And how did it perform? Well, the uh, the super legend with the Lycoming 0233, which is a multi field engine, is 115 horse. And it is a great, great engine. In fact, it's a perfect engine, I would say, today for the airplane. Uh, it, it's a lot lighter than the uh, 0340, and we uh, we can stay underneath the weight, the weight envelope of the certification for the aircraft. And it's a USLSA. Yeah, SLSA. Yeah, okay. So, and it, it gives you a reasonable, useful load in the aircraft, of course. And uh, this is a great engine. I mean, the the customers buying the Super Legend with the the O233, the aircraft will outperform a 150 horse Piper Super Cub, hands down. Is that right? That's a takeoff, climb, cruise, and everything. I had a customer that uh, first week took the airplane to Las Vegas and went up to Colorado at 9,500 feet. Whoa. And uh, his dad had a Super Cub, 150 horse, and he said, Darren, that thing outperformed everything than my, and then my dad's. Uh, 150 horse super cut. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, with 35 horsepower less. Yeah, 35 horse. But it's the power to weight ratio. And yeah, that's what sure. does it. It's a little lighter airplane. So uh, the the 180 horse would just give guys the bragging rights, and, and uh, it, you can take off about two plane lengths, and you can climb out 2,000 feet, ready to climb if you want to. <laughs> and, but you know, as far as the cruise, we we had to pull the power back to the 80 horsepower, and uh, fly the air, airplane at 80 horsepower, and and uh, it flies about the same as the O233. So, you get so it's, it's mainly that takeoff, or but that could apply in, uh, although the, one, the 115 Lycoming did well at high altitude too, but still you think about really short strips, or uh, maybe you got to go around, or maybe you just want to show off, or whatever it is, you got a lot of hoot in this airplane. It, it's the bragging rights, you're right. And, and it, you know, it's this great engine. We have to be very careful to keep the weight. Um, you know, this configuration right here came in at 902 pounds. So you can make SLSA with this engine? This engine. Oh, I thought you were going to have to go experimental with so, it. So that's interesting. This is our you first can still do kits as well though, right? You can do the kits. Okay. You can you actually go both. up to 1750 on the gross weight on those. Okay. But, uh, you know, we have to keep with the lightweight paint job and we have to keep with the uh, simple avionics package and that's really about it. Is that right? Uh, yeah, if well, you go with any big sacrifice yeah. though. So if you go a little bit beyond that, then we have to go with the ELSA. Okay. Well, we can do all that. Let's uh, pop the hood and have a okay. look at how you've installed this engine in here. Well, it's a very clean install, and actually, the engine is only a quarter inch wide, a quarter inch wider than the O233. Is that right? So everything on the yeah, engine. So you install, have some room in here to work with, actually. On this everything uh, on the O233 works exactly the same for the O340. The same engine mount and uh, and the base of the same baffling. Uh, the exhaust system is just a quarter inch wider in between the crossover tubes and the same oil cooler and everything. So we didn't have to change anything. The only thing we did was we swapped the, the engines out. It was the only difference between the two airplanes. Now we did a video with the guys at uh, ECI and Titan and they said that they can configure the, uh, the aft end of the engine to meet your motor mount. Did they work with you on how to get it installed, or did you do all this on your own, or well, how'd that part work there? Well, the O233 has a, a uh, difocal mount. and uh, Aimed at the center of mass of the engine. center okay. of mass. And we did the same thing. This, the uh, the engine from Titan, or ECI, uh, we have the difocal mount on, the, on our airplane. And uh, so it's exactly the same. We can literally put a 233 engine on this airplane, and, that, and you go back and forth and back and uh, forth and exactly the same. Only it changes the prop. Okay, and how's the prop change in order to get all the hoot that this engine? Well, got? when you got more hump, you got to have more prop. You know? okay. So you, you know, it's just the difference in change in length and pitch on the prop. Now, for the pilot inside the airplane, beside the smile that he'll get on his face, what does he have to do different to operate this engine safe and sanely? Well, what you're doing is you're, uh, you know, the airplane flies the same. You know, you do have more torque and more power. Uh, you know, when you're on your takeoff, but. There, it, it performs the same. There's really not much difference except for your takeoff distance and your climb out performance. 
So you just got to be prepared to get off the ground a little quicker. Yeah. A little just, mental preparation. Well, it is surprise everybody. You fly the power, you take off. You're gone. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's just, you know, as far as off field, you know, takeoff and landings, it's just a, uh, it's a, don't think about it, just go if you have the distance. And how about then backing off in flight? What do you, what advice do you give them about, look, don't run it wide open all day long? Well, I suppose they, that's what you tell right. them, right? And what we do is that because of light sport, we have to meet the light sport rules and we have to do the power back. Uh, so after five minutes, you're supposed to be back to 80 horsepower. We put a placard in the inside the airplane that shows you the 80 horsepower power settings. Ah, okay. So you got a, you got a place on the, on, on the uh, tachometer or something that you show Yeah, that's that? right there. It's just a placard that says at this altitude, you need to be flying at this RPM to I get see, the 80 okay. horsepower, and that's what we do. Okay. And so basically, though, at 2,000 feet a minute and dropping a little bit as you go, five minutes of that's going to get you pretty darn high in the sky. Oh, yeah. At 2,000 feet, ready to climb, you can get up in the sky and get your altitude real quick. And then you're backing off and following the indication on the tachometer. Is that yes. right? Okay. How does it, as far as uh, purchase and stuff, uh, we don't want to get exact numbers, but obviously this has got to be more money. Well, the base price on the Super Legend HP is 164000 so okay. change. The time you had the avionics and the lighting, this okay. example of this airplane you're sitting standby is $190,000. Okay. So, and that's with this engine? Though. With this engine. Okay, and how much less would it be with just the Super Legend engine set? That's one fifty-four. Okay, so, so you're saving about ten grand. About ten thousand dollars. Okay, yeah. and you're still offering other engines as well, I guess. Yeah, we do the, of course, our most popular airplane, so classic, we call the AL3 with the open cylinders and the uh, and the Continental, the 100 horsepower. That's so you're still selling some of those? We still, that's probably our most popular airplane out there. Is that right? Because it's a perfect it trainer. Yeah, that and is, it preserves that authentic look. Yeah, it's people. authentic, you get five pounds useful load in the airplane. Oh wow, okay. So it's just the perfect training aircraft. And you're still offering a float plane? And we do floats and we have our own floats now. Oh and, do you now, okay. So they're our carbon fiber and uh, and Kevlar hull and uh, they're amphibs and we can do straight floats, we just haven't built any yet. But uh, but they're very popular. We have four airplanes in our hangar right now just waiting for the install. So Is that right? Okay. We're very busy on that. Okay, cool. Well, I noticed in the uh, review and the numbers that I published on my website, American Legends, uh, there was a low point, not just for you, but for everybody down there for a while. It was kind of a tough time to get through. Looks like things have come back pretty well, right? I think last year was a very good year for us, and uh, so we had a lot of aircraft deliveries. We did 16 Super Legends last year. All right, so good. That's good, and we did a couple uh, AL3s, and then uh, we picked up some new dealers this year, and, and of course, Sporties. Uh, I don't know if you heard yet. Sporties, no, I didn't. Tell me. Yeah, Sporties Pilot Shop's going to be our new dealer now. Is up there that in right? Ohio. So Congratulations. That's real good. So we're all really excited about that. Well, that's excellent, Darren. We're glad to hear it. You've been one of the mainstays. You weren't one or two, but you were way high in the number of people that got in this game early, and you've stuck with it, and we're happy you well, did. This is our 10th year. 10th year here. It's yep. fun, huh? Yep. That's all right. right. Excellent. Well, a lot of good information there, but people always have more, and some of them just want to send you a lot of money. So where do they go on the web to find you? Well, our website is, of course, www.legend. Dot arrow, A E R O. So. All right, we'll put that up on the screen for people. Make it easy. You can find lots more about American Legends, several of their models, a pilot report, and more, plus lots of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Darren Hart and myself here at Sun and Fun.